Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Um, we are going to do a 2024 election prediction here. Uh, Joe Biden, the incumbent president, who I think will run for re-election, against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Okay, so this election, um, so here's the here's the electoral map, um, in 2020, uh. Biden versus Donald Trump, the former incumbent president. And Biden had won 306 electoral votes to Trump's 232. So Biden won quite comfortably, really. He won by what? 74 votes? Something like, uh, 84? I don't know, something like that. So, um, yeah, so here's the actual map. And remember, uh, some key states, or some key parts of the country, Rust Belt's, uh, you know, included, too. Uh, Biden had carried the entire blue wall, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, which was ultimately key to Biden's victory in 2020 and, most importantly, key to Trump's victory in 2016. That just shows you how um, prominent the blue wall is. Um, Biden also carried Georgia for the first time, and that was the first time the Democrats won since 1996 when Bill Clinton won it. Um, they also won Arizona which is a swing state, um, Virginia, and that's about it, and that, but, um, Trump won Florida, uh, North Carolina, Ohio, states like that, Texas, all right, so in 2024, swing states will be Georgia, North Carolina, Ohio, of uh, the Blue Wall, Michigan, well, yeah, I guess, Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Texas will be for the first time, and um, that's about it. All right, so Ron DeSantis is the governor of Florida. Um, I think so. DeSantis's uh reaction to COVID nineteen was awful, and he would probably be hurt by that in twenty twenty four. But by twenty twenty four, I think people would forget about it. So I do think that he could carry his home state of Florida, as Trump did in 2020 and 2016. I think Joe Biden will carry uh, Georgia again. I think his, his, um, here, let's see North Carolina. The vote was 50.1% to Trump and 48.7% to Biden. So basically 1% difference. I do think Biden would carry North Carolina, he has more of a, uh, actually, I'm going to switch this to DeSantis, actually, because DeSantis does have a connection with Latino voters as the governor of Florida. So, although the Democrats, of course, will control the Latino vote, I think DeSantis could carry it enough to carry him to victory in North Carolina. Um, South Carolina is a safe state for the Republicans. Um, yeah, these, most of these southern states are going to go to DeSantis. Remember, DeSantis is governor of Florida. Um, um, like I said, he has a connection to Latino voters, but not more than Biden. Um, I think the, the black vote is definitely going to rise in many states, and that's going to include Texas. All right. um, Trump won Texas by a pretty wide margin, 8%. Um, I do think Texas will turn into a swing state radically, especially if Beto O'Rourke makes a comeback and wins the Senate seat in Texas, a Senate seat along with Ted Cruz in 2022, the midterm elections. If Beto O'Rourke wins, I think Biden could carry Texas. All right, DeSantis will carry Oklahoma, Missouri, Kentucky, Biden will, of course, carry Illinois, New York, um, Maine's 1st District. Oh, no. Uh, you know, I think Biden will carry both districts, really, with Maine. Let's see, let's see. Biden will carry Minnesota, the East Coast, Hawaii. Um, uh, I think... Um, let's see, let's see. You know, I think DeSantis is appealing enough to win states like Arizona. But when, 
But I think his COVID response will be very prominent in this election, really. DeSantis's, um, uh, his reaction to COVID was awful. Okay, he's receiving total payback for it um, on the media and stuff like that. People are slamming him for not doing anything about the schools, just, you know, making schools completely normal. But I don't, and because of that, I don't think he could win Arizona or New Mexico. Going to give both to Biden. Santos will, of course, carry Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, tr- yeah, Trump won by a wide margin in Montana. Same with, wow, Idaho. Huge landslide. Of course, Wyoming is the biggest landslide of them all. Uh, 58.2%. Mm. Yeah, I guess I would have to give the Republicans Utah. I would have to give the Democrats Nevada. Oops. Um, Colorado will go to Biden. Nebraska's first and second district, I think, could go to Biden. Uh, or, I mean, uh... Oops. Oh, jeez, I got it mixed up. Sorry. One second. All right, and then, yep, the rest go to DeSantis. And then, uh, Kansas. Kansas is supposedly going to be a toss-up in 2024, but not with DeSantis in it. All right, DeSantis is not going to connect to, like, Mideast, uh, Mideastern voters. Or, um, you know... Not as much as Trump would, you know, a big business guy. DeSantis, he doesn't really have a connection, as in Florida. Um, but we do need to remember there's governors like Christy Nome in South Dakota, you know, states like that, North Dakota, Wyoming, who are strongly campaigning for the Republicans. Let's see, Iowa went to Trump, but uh, by how much? I, Iowa, um, hmm. Yeah, I will I'll give to DeSantis. Biden will carry the blue wall. Alright, it's definite. He's going to carry many of these states. Because De- DeSantis, we need to remember, is an extremely weak governor. Okay? DeSantis was ultimately an awful governor. I don't think he could connect to people in Ohio. I'll give Ohio to the Democrats. Let's see how much Trump won by here. Oh yeah, Trump won by a wide margin, but... Still, I think Biden would win here. Good care Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, and DeSantis would finish off carrying West Virginia. Oh, Biden wins D.C. So it's a complete landslide with DeSantis as the Republican nominee. 364 to Biden, 174 for DeSantis. You need 270 votes to win. So it's a complete vote blow with DeSantis in. Um, next up, I think I will do, um, I'm, or I, I really don't know who I'll do, um, but I'll see you later. See you for the next 2024 election prediction.